hi guys welcome back again to my video today we'll be talking about this amazing opportunity this province in canada is recruiting guys if you are a healthcare worker this video is just for you they need people to come into canada in this particular province and work apart from healthcare workers they are also recruiting construction workers those who are working under education and many others so guys if you want to work in any field of your choice this is an opportunity for you what are you waiting for let's dive into my screen so that i can show you this job opportunity apply as soon as possible don't forget to make a very good cv a canadian form so guys we are now on my screen as you can see we are on the official web page of the Prince Edward Island, and it is written International Recruitment Talent Pool. Guys, this is 2024. This particular one is for healthcare workers, and the other one is just for construction workers, healthcare workers, and other professions. So, guys, if you scroll down, you will see something like Please register and provide your resume or CV to be considered by employers that are hiring in Prince Edward Island. Employers will connect with potential applicants to discuss job opportunities in person or virtually. Guys, what you need to do is just to scroll down and try to choose a profession. Choose your own profession. And you will see something like, please select the field of work you would like to be considered for based on your experience or skills. Under healthcare, we have caregiver, we have registered nurse, and we also have doctor. So if you want to work as a caregiver or you want to work as a nurse or you want to work as a doctor, this is a time for you to choose any of them and make sure you show your interest. The next category of people they want are education, those who are under the field of education. If you can work as an early childhood educator, elementary teacher, secondary teacher, this is something for you now the other uh, position they recognize is web developers or programmers cyber security analysts software engineer and so on and so forth and the next position is hospitality if you want to work under hospitality then you go ahead and click and there are three other things or two other things under hospitality you have housekeeper or cook it's either you work as a housekeeper or you work as a cook. And now we also have trucking industry. If you are a truck driver, you are a dispatcher, you are a heavy duty mechanic, you can also decide to pick one of them. And now we have another one, manufacturing. If you want to work under the manufacturing industry, you either work as a machine operator, a manufacturing worker, meat cutter. Guys, they are in need of so many people and now we go to bioscience if you want to work under quality control or process engineering this is something you have to do what you need to do they say please provide your contact information you have to fill in your first name your last name your email address you confirm your email address and then you upload your cv or your resume guys make sure you upload a CV that matches with the job you want to do. Try to tailor your CV according to your job, according to your skills. Don't just put any CV because you want to apply. Make sure you tailor your CV according to the job you are applying for. Guys, let's move now to the next one. If you are under construction or if you are into construction, guys, this one is just for you. They need construction professionals. What you need to do is just to click on the link. I will drop the link on the description box. You just need to click on the link and this page will pop up and you'll see something like, welcome. We are very excited to connect with you for opportunities in Prince Edward Island. Guys, you just need to scroll down, scroll down and you will see the different uh, jobs. They are in need of people, guys. You'll see something like, please select the field of work you would like to be considered for. Trade and construction. They are in need of electrician. They are in need of mechanics. They are in need of carpenters. They are in need of drywalls, plumbers, uh, pipe fitter and steam fitters, painters, heating and cooling technician, construction helper, roofer, mechanic engineer, other trade and construction field of work. Guys, if you are into any of this field, I know we have a lot of painters in Africa. We have a lot of plumbers. We have a lot of construction helpers, 
guys even if your category or you don't fall under any of these things i know you can always be a construction helper where you can go to a construction site and help people that are building guys you can be useful there what you need to do is just to click on them and the next thing they say how many years of work experience do you have in your selected occupation make sure you fill in it very well for example if you want to fill this in you just need to scroll down again and they say how many years of work experience do you have in your selected occupation what you need to do to is just to write to click on two to five years of experience now you fill in your first name for example your first name is lawrence you fill in lawrence and now you go to the next one your last name is uh obang you fill in obang and you put in your email address you understand when you put in your email address you go for the they say confirm email address. You still put in your email address. Now, this is select and upload a file. What you need to do is just to click here in order for you to upload a file. You click there. It will take you to where you have to upload your file. For example, I have chosen this particular file I want to upload. Let me see. I'll just try to scroll down a little bit to select my file very well. For example, I pick up this and I upload. That is my file. My file has been uploaded. Guys, make sure you upload your CV because if you do not upload your CV, they won't know how to contact you because you have not applied yet. And now if you continue to scroll down, they will say agree with your terms and condition. Now, when you agree by clicking on uh, the blue tick, the next thing you have to do is to save and next. When you click on save and next, if everything is okay, they will take you to another page for you to proceed. Guys, now they said, please answer the following general qualification questions because they have taken me to the next page. They say, what is your current country of residence? Now you have to fill in your current country of residence. If you live in Nigeria or you live in Cameroon or you live in Ghana, what you need to do is just to fill it in the next thing they say are you between the ages of 18 and 59 you say yes because that's the employment age if you're above that age then they will not employ you and they will also, they also talk about english proficiency you have to prove to them that you are able to speak english so you have to fill it in and they say french tell them your level of proficiency in french if you don't have anything still click no if you have something if you know a little bit of french click yes and they now they say are you interested in working full time guys it is always advisable to click that you want to work full time these jobs are sponsorship jobs and if you don't want to work full time it becomes very difficult for them to employ you now they say how many years of full time work experience do you have what you need to do is to put two to four years it's very very important and they say your current job title you can just put maybe a plumber or any one of the jobs that you see on that list and they say previous position job title you can still put plumber and then they say have you successfully completed a minimum of secondary school you have to say yes because if you say no Nobody's going to employ you without a secondary school certificate. Now, they say, what is your highest level of education? You can just put uh, secondary school education. It's very, very possible. And they say, how did you hear about this recruitment? You can just say, yeah, from, let's say, social media. You understand? Now, this is, please, please specify. You can just put YouTube or Facebook. It's very, very possible. Then the next thing you have to do is still to scroll down and click on next. When you click on next, if everything is okay, then they will tell you what to do next. If everything is not okay, then you have to just correct the errors you have made and then you proceed. And they say, what is your, your country of passport issuance? Guys, they want to know where you, you got your passport from. For example, if you scroll down, you see other countries. Let me just click. Belgium and then try to click on next. These are the information you need to put through in order to finish this application process. It is very, very handy, guys. And they say, please wait. Your progress has been saved. Feel free to refresh the button. And now 
after the second step you are done you receive a message on your email telling you you have applied and you need to wait for their confirmation for example they say thank you for taking time to complete these discovery questions a confirmation email with instruction for the next step will be sent to the address you have provided. Guys, this is what you need to do. And then you keep checking your email to wait for any good response that will come. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.